Okay, so first, I want to say that I'm terrified, so excuse me if I have to cough. <laughs> so uh, about our closest star, a red dwarf about 4.25 light years away. I about 4.25, yes. <laughs> um, well, one of its planets is habitable, as in it's in the Goldilocks zone of technically, but it's currently locked, to be, meaning it can't spin because of the gravity of its star. Now, why doesn't that happen to Mercury, being as it's so close to the sun? Ooh, very good. <laughs> See, if I go right to answer that question, the whole lead part of your question is, is like shows a lot of research that you've done, and it's not common knowledge. The entire lead up to your question is not common knowledge. So, so I'll go straight to the answer, but um, I wrote an essay called Tides and Time, and you can find it on the internet, probably I think on my website, Tides and Time, which will be related to this. So if you have a planet or anything that's orbiting close to something else that has strong gravity, tidal forces will slow down its rotation so that it'll only show one face to you. One face to you. And so when that happens, it's called being tidally locked. We have locked the moon. There's a far side of the moon, there's a near side of the moon. But there is no dark side of the moon. <laughs> I don't care what Pink Floyd told you in 1973. Okay, so, um, Pluto and its moon Sharon are close to one another. They have double tidally locked. They show the same face to one another as they move around. Mercury does not, and it's because Mercury has a resonance, okay? Mercury feels the gravity of other objects in the solar system, in particular Venus, and when you feel another source of gravity in addition to that of the sun, the sun does not succeed in totally tidally locking the planet. There's a, it, there's a tussle between the two objects. Thank you, and I'm going to have to research half the words of that explanation. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.